Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and in this video I'm going to talk about nighttime render in Rhino. So I want to go to my render, my current renderer is Rhino Render. Uh, first I want to change the sunlight, so I want to go to Toggle Lights panel, it's under Render Tools. I want to go to my sunlight. I need to change this to here, so it's going to be Toronto, Canada, and uh, I want to put it on sometime uh, on the night time, so it's going to be darker outside. So I want to close this. Uh, also, we had one rectangular light next to the window, uh, right behind the window. Uh, for the daytime, it was set to one. For the nighttime, I want to set it to like point two, maybe. So it's kind of like there is a bit of uh, moonlight. Uh, at night. Uh, also that background image uh, is too light. It's not appropriate for night time. I, uh, I want to go to Toggle Environments panel. Uh, I want to go to this image. Uh, when I go to the settings of the image all the way to the down, for output adjustment we have the multiplier. Uh, so for instance, if I put 0.2 here, one-fifth of what we have is going to make it like darker. You can also change gamma if you want. If I change it to 0.5, it's going to be more black uh, spots on the screen. So I changed the background. Uh, I have also added that uh, lamp icon over there. Now I want to add some spotlights. Uh, how about I change this to shaded? I want to go to four views. Uh, let me hide this temporarily. And uh, if I go to my render tools, uh, I have spotlight here. For the spotlight, I want to start it in the front view. Notice that my project is on and my endpoint is off. So. Uh, it's going to move in one plane. Uh, first, I need to assign the base of cone. Somewhere around here would be the base of cone and uh, something like this. Uh, I need to turn ortho off. Okay. Maybe something like this is good for the radius and I want to click here once, somewhere around here. So this is going to be my light. Um, now I need to adjust in the top view. I want to uh, move it. I can turn ortho on by clicking F8 on the keyboard. And I want to move this to here. I want to move it here so it's exactly on one of these lamps. Uh, so if I go to my light panel, you see that one light is added here. This is a spotlight. I can change the color to something like this. Uh, I want to leave the rest for now and I want to copy this uh, over here too. So now I have two lamps. Uh, also I want to mirror this lamp on the other side. Uh, I'm assuming that one of these is going to be rotated towards the other side. So I want to go with mirror MI this new one, I'm going to move it a little bit out and I'm going to move it around here. Um, I'm going to actually, considering that it's related to that lamp, although that lamp needs to be rotated. So we're going to uh, try it now. We can go to standard, uh, turn this on so our uh, sofas are back. I can go here uh, under file, properties. Uh, this is my rendering panel. It's good. I'm going to leave it. So the sun is set. It's uh, set to some night time. Uh, there is some uh, rectangular light behind the window, uh, which is set to 0.2. And we have a couple of spotlights. Uh, also, I changed the background image. So let's see how this is going to look. I'm going to uh, click here for the render. Uh, so this is a test render. Uh, so this is a little bit too light here. You see the two spotlights here. Maybe uh, I can change their intensity a little bit. And uh, maybe we can add some light uh, maybe around there or something. We can try it. So I want to go back here. 
I want to go to the light. I double click here. This is going to be maybe point 0.9. Uh, because I copied them, they're going to be the same. Uh, so far we have three spotlights. Maybe I can add another one and uh, consider it kind of uh, looking to that wall. So I want to go back here. Uh, how about I hide the couch again? So I have one, two, and three lights so far. So this is one, two, three. Uh, I can add another one here and this is going to look that side. So I'm going to copy this spotlight over here. I want to hit F8 to turn off the ortho and I want to rotate this one by negative 90 so it's going to look in that direction. So now we have four spotlights, two of them are looking to that wall, uh, one of them is looking to that wall and one of them is just shedding some light over this table. Uh, I change the uh, intensity of the light to 0.9. I want to turn on uh, the object over there uh, and we can try the render again. Uh, so it's getting a bit better. We can add one last uh, light to the fifth bulb that we have over there. Uh, if you think the background is too light, we can also decrease that. So I want to close this. I want to go to my render tools, to the environment, and I want to change this multiplier to maybe 0.1. So it's a little bit darker over there. I want to close this. Uh, I want to go to the other view, hide this object. So now we have four lights, two of them looking to that green wall, one of them to that pink wall, one of them is the general light. I can add one more light here to this bulb and it's going to look into that side so it's kind of like uh, shedding some lights to uh, to that side of the room. So I want to get this, I want to go with CO, move this here using F8 for ortho uh, turn off ortho. I want to rotate this a little bit so it's going to be kind of like this. So I want to turn on all the objects. Uh, I want to go here. Maybe we can go to render tools, go here. Uh, maybe I would better change this to 0 0.85. And if I change one of them, it's going to change them all because we copied them. If you don't want all of them to be the same number, you have to actually not copy and create them one by one. So I'm going to see how this render looks like. I want to close this and uh, save the file and render again. Uh, so this is the test render. It's getting much better. Uh, I still want to decrease uh, that intensity a little bit, but uh, everything else is good. So I want to close this. Uh, I want to change this to maybe 0.8. Uh, close this and when you are ready, you can go to File Properties. Uh, you can change this to 300, change this to Final Quality and maybe 1500 for the size. OK. And you can get your final render.